Suppose some YouTubers you admire decide to suggest making videos about your favourite number greater than 1 million as part of the Mega Save Number Project, and also suppose they remind you of a time when you thought about making your own YouTube channel. What do you do? Apparently if you're me, you start writing the script. Will this be edited out? Who knows? So, big numbers. What shall I pick? I like primes and I always have, but I feel that most send numbers often get all of the glory, so instead I'm going to talk about... 2,618,163,402,417 times 2 to the 1,219,000 minus 1. Yep, that's going to be scrolling for a little while. It's 388,342 digits long. So why do I like this number? What is it? Well, before I talk about that, let's talk about Fermat's last theorem. a to the n plus b to the n equals c to the n. This equation has no integer solutions for n greater than 2, which was proven by Andrew Wiles in 1995 by his proof of the Taneyama Shimura conjecture for semi stable elliptic curves. Prior to this, the problem had defeated many a mathematician for hundreds of years. Even the great mathematician Leonard Euler was only able to prove part of this theorem, the case for n equals 3. And Fermat himself, despite his famous note in the margin, is known to only approve the case for n equals 4. However, no method could further remove any numbers from the list until 75 years later. In a correspondence with the great Carl Friedrich Gauss, a man called Monsignor Leblanc presented a very elegant argument proving that for a particular set of primes, then either A, B, or C would necessarily be a multiple of N. This drastically cuts down on the surge space and allowed other mathematicians to clean up some of the primes in this set. This man turned out to be a woman with no formal mathematical training called Sophie Germain. Sophie Germain was a brilliant number theorist, and it's likely she would have advanced the field even further had she been in a time where women were allowed to pursue their passion without being subject to stigma. She also developed an area of physics relating to elasticity and wrote the memoir on the vibrations of elastic plates. Some of the consequences of that are in Steve Moore's videos about cladding figures, link below. So why am I talking about this? The set of primes Sophie Germain was able to prove would be, in her words, extremely unlikely to contain solutions to the Maslow's theorem are named Sophie Germain primes. These primes aren't like Mersenne primes or Pross primes, as they aren't required to have a particular structure. Instead, simply if p is some prime number, and 2p plus 1 is also a prime number, then the original number p is a Sophie Germain prime. The second prime, p plus 1, is called a safe prime. For example, 3 is a Sophie Germain prime, as double itself plus 1, i.e. 7, is also prime, and 7 is the associated safe prime. It is not a Sophie Germain prime itself, however, because double itself plus 1 is 15, which is composite. The number in this video, 2,618,163,402,417 times 2 to the 1,219,000 minus 1 plus 1. Times two to the 1 minus one. It's the current record holder for the largest Sophie Germain prime. It certainly isn't the largest prime ever found, or even in the top 10. In fact, as of the time of writing, it's the 8,133rd largest prime known. The associated safe prime is, unsurprisingly, 2,618,163,402,417 times 2 to the 1,219,000 minus 1. This was my mega fave number. I'll leave a link below to the playlist so you can check out other mega fave numbers. You've been watching Suppose, and I suppose I'll say goodbye.